Hey YouTube, for those of you going on board the Atlantis Harmony Cruise coming up pretty soon, today I'm going to give you a tour of Royal Caribbean's Harmony Up the Seas. We're going to talk about the dining options on board, especially the free ones, the various amenities on board, like where you can get a protein shake, a soft serve ice cream, and the venues on board, where the entertainers will perform and the parties will be thrown. We're not going to go through everything on board, because it's such a gigantic ship, but instead I'll focus on what's most popular on an Atlantis cruise. Harmony is only 6 years old and is part of the 5 Oasis class ships that Royal Caribbean has. This class of ships are the largest cruise ships in the world. It is 1188 feet long, that's nearly 5 times longer than the biggest passenger jetliner, the A380 Super Jumbo. It's got over 2700 staterooms, more than the Planet Hollywood in Vegas. By passenger capacity, Harmony maxes out at over 6600 passengers. For this tour, we're going to start from the bottom of the ship and then we're going to make our way up. Starting at deck 3 at the back, we have the main dining room. Main dining is free and this is where you can have a sit down, three course meal. This is a good place to dine and socialize with friends that you're with, but it's also good for solo travelers who want to meet new people. As Atlantis will see people family style, just go up to the staff at the front and let them know that you like to join a table with others. On deck 4 we some entertainment venues. Starting at the front, we have the main level of the theater. This is where most of the big shows are performed, from drag shows to musicals to one of my favorites, Air Audic. Shows don't usually require reservations, but if you come 15 to 20 minutes early, you get the best seats. If you miss one showing, there's usually a second showing later that night or on the next day. In the middle of deck 4, we have Studio B, which is one of my favorite places on the entire ship. Studio B is the main indoor venue for the Atlantis parties. In particular, the playground party is usually hosted here, and sometimes the welcome party on the very first night is here too. In case of any weather for the nighttime outdoor party, Studio B serves as the backup indoor venue. Besides the Atlantis parties, Royal Caribbean has shows and activities here too. It can even convert into an ice rink. Just behind Studio B is the casino, and at the back of Deck 4, we have the second middle level of the main dining room. So the main dining room on this ship actually has three levels, and each level has a slightly different name for some reason, but they all have the same menu. Deck 3 will be the main level for main dining, and that's the level you usually go to. Up into Deck 5 is the Royal Promenade level, and the Royal Promenade is what you enter into when you board the ship on the very first day. This is where you'll find a variety of food, drinks, or retail options. My favorite here are Sorrento's Pizza. I've had a lot of pizza here in the past. And also Cafe Promenade, which offers quick bites and drip coffee. And it's one of the few venues that are open 24 hours a day. Cafe Promenade Sorrento is also a great place to get water regardless of what time of the day it is. So if you want some water to bring back to your statement, for example, this is a great place to do it. Sorrento's also has one of the few soda fountain machines on the ship. We have the soda or the refreshment drinks packages. One of the most important places on the ship is guest services, and it's right here on deck 5, right beside Cafe Promenade. And this is important because as an Atlantis cruiser, you are somewhat more likely than other cruisers to lose your key card during the cruise. If you ever lose your key card, you're gonna need to go to guest services right here on deck 5. Across from guest services is the Rising Tide Bar, which is a bar that's on a platform and it goes up and down between the Royal Promenade here on Deck 5 and up onto Central Park on Deck 8. At the very front of Deck 5, you have the upper second level of the main theater with more seating, and at the very back of Deck 5, you have the third and final level of the main dining room. Moving to Deck 6, at the very front, we have the Vitaly Spa and the gym. And you know when the gym is really busy on Atlantis Cruise? The very first day, even before we've pushed back from the port, the gym is like very, really busy at that time, before we even set sail. At the entrance to the gym and spa is the Fatale Cafe, which is another one of my favorite places on the ship, because they do real fruit protein smoothies. But the main attraction on Deck 6 is the boardwalk that's near the back of the ship. In this boardwalk neighborhood of the ship, the biggest attraction is definitely the Aqua Theater, which is the venue for the afternoon tea dances and sometimes some of the nighttime parties as well. In the past, the EDM parties have been here. Besides the Atlantis parties, Royal Caribbean also puts on some wild aquatic shows in the Aqua Theater. Along the boardwalk, you have some dining options, including the Starbucks and Johnny Rockets, which is a diner where you can get burgers, fries, and a milkshake. Next, we're heading to the Central Park neighborhood on Deck 8, which is a really unique part of these Oasis ships that you won't find on any other cruise. This is an outdoor area and it's open all the way up to the pool deck. The plants here are real. There's actually a horticulturist on board and a team of people that takes care of all of them. The bird and cricket noises here though are not real, they're just speakers. But it's a really nice area to take a stroll, sit down for a bit and relax. You can grab a free bite or drink from the park cafe. And there are also some paid specialty restaurants here as well. There's Chop's Grill, 150 Central Park, and Jamie's Italian. This is also one of the two decks where you can access the Rising Tide Bar, the other being Deck 5 on the Royal Promenade. Decks 9 to 14 are all staterooms, so we're going to fast forward all the way up to deck 15, which is the pool deck. Starting at the front of the ship is the solarium, where Atlantis usually likes to throw most of their nighttime parties. Although I personally still hold a hope that some of the nighttime parties will be poolside, because I love a poolside party. 
The Slayer is a semi-enclosed outdoor area. It's enclosed enough to block out the wind, but not so much to trap heat in from a party or keep the rain out. A lot of Atlantis cruisers are here only to party at night, but during the day, there's some hot tubs you can use, and it's a quieter area to sunbathe and hang out. The Slayer Bistro is here too. They serve Mediterranean food. It's free, and I don't think a lot of Atlantis cruisers know about this place either. Uh, everyone's getting pizza or the buffet or in main dining. As you exit out the Solarium, right off the elevator lobby, there are two large hot tubs, one on each side of the ship. In these two massive hot tubs, there are always boys there. I've never walked by these two hot tubs at any point in any of these cruises and not see boys in these hot tubs. Moving to the pool area, there are three pools and a kids splash area. The water slides are here of course and there's plenty of space and chairs to lounge on. In between the pools are the pool deck bars and on the back side of the bars are the free soft surf machines. Soft surf is my favorite thing on the entire pool deck. So there's two soft surf machines. There's one on the back side of each bar on either side of the ship. Near the back of the ship is a cafe called Mini Bites, which is free, and they have to-go snacks like sliders, grilled cheese, etc. This is also another great place to grab water if you happen to be nearby, and there's also another location on the ship where they have the soda fountain machines, for those of you that have the soda or the refreshment packages. At the front, you have the solarium bar, and this area overlooks the main solarium that's one level below. This is actually an alternative, less crowded way to get to the bar or into the parties there. Outside the middle of deck 16, you have another bar above the pool deck. Back indoors at the back of the ship is the free Windjammer Buffet. On Atlantis cruises, in addition to breakfast, lunch, and dinner, they also do a late night service that goes till maybe 3 or 4 a.m. So if you're at the late night party that's poolside or in the solarium, you can pop over to Windjammer for a quick bite. Just keep in mind that Windjammer closes in between the breakfast, lunch, dinner, and the late night services and do not open 24 7. The final attractions on our tour are some outdoor activities at the back of deck 16. Here we have a zip line that you can ride that goes over the board boardwalk on deck six, the flow rider where everyone boosts their behind, and the ultimate abyss slide that goes all the way down to the boardwalk on deck six. All right, YouTube, that's a tour of Royal Caribbean's Harmony of the Seas, and you're gonna be on the Atlantis Harmony cruise coming in a couple of weeks. I will see you on board. Just a reminder, all of my cruise advice and tips are on my website, justjoeyt.com, and I'll link that down below. As well, all throughout this month of January, I'll be making lots of cruise advice videos, including some that are specific to this Atlantis Harmony cruise. So make sure you like, subscribe, hit the notification bell when more of those videos come out. Until next time, bye, YouTube. 2 p.m. and we just got out of bed. Good morning. How did you sleep last night, Charles? Yeah. Great. Ship started rocking like yeah. I can't express. If you shake it, they can see. <laughs> if you shake the camera. What if I shake you? Oh, it's rocking. Oh no. Shake it, man. No. <laughs> oh, shake it, man. Yeah, shake it, man. <laughs>